Hey guys, Fabian Vic here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this. This is the Org Vape Merlin RDTA. Uh, this is the rose gold version. There is black and gold, and uh, there is a stainless steel version as well. Another RDTA. Another RDTA. Ah, oh, another RDTA. They're all the same. They're not all the same, but uh, they <laughs> they did it did seem at one point that they'd reached a point of innovation that they they couldn't go any further. This one has some nice features though. Uh, a brand new way of doing the wicking. A very clever way of filling. Uh, and some very serious pros in terms of vape quality. Uh, so do stay tuned because we're going to show you all that when we go down low. Um, stats. It is 3.5mm uh, capacity in there. It is 24mm wide. Uh, has a Delrin top, uh, top uh, cap, top cap drip tip, all in one jobby. Uh, adjustable airflow from underneath the coil. Um, nice big post holes absolute doddle to wick absolute doddle to refill uh, pretty good on paper let's go see it up close then come back up top uh, see you in a sec okay guys here we are up close with the Orgvate merlin rdta this is the packaging comes in a sexy tube uh, Orgvate logo there all good stuff all good stuff um oh it's got the stats there as well if you want to pause that and have a browse taking the top off and pulling the tank out, we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, inside the tube, you also get a spare glass and your spares in there, and you get um, a Phillips head screwdriver. And uh, the reason for that will become apparent in a moment. So that is that. That's the tube. Okay, so here is the tank. Uh, you've got your uh, glass section here with the uh, Org Vape logo inside. Uh, that's very cool how they've done that. Uh, three and a half mil capacity. You've got another logo here. You've got your airflow here, which is adjustable like that. There you go. And you've got your pin. I'm going to say <laughs> I'm going to say that uh, you might want to be careful on hybrids and stuff with that. That's not very protruding. Uh, but it's all good on regulated and stuff. Um, so if uh, we look at the drip tip, this is the drip tip, uh, pretty much fixed. You know, there's not much you can do about this. You you have to use this really. Um, you can screw it out like that if you wanna, or you can just rip the cap off. Um, but uh, it, as while we're here, you can see actually uh, this piece here is what closes the top fill uh, section. Um, so when that's on. You know, it's not going to. There's not going to be any leakage due to the top fill. Uh, so you can unscrew that if you want, or you can just rip this cap off, uh, and you can see what's going on here. So we've got two huge post holes, absolutely massive. And if you notice, they are squared off. So if you put a uh, alien in here or a staple, you know, one of these sort of flat square coils, it's not going to bend it or twist it putting it in, uh, which is very cool. You can put. Uh, you could fit anything in there, don't worry about that. Uh, very, 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 very big post holes. Uh, Phillips uh, screws there for tightening down. You've got your top fill there. Uh, try not to look too closely at my <laughs> janky coils. Uh, it's just what I happened to throw in at the time. Uh, the next clever thing I'm going to show you is the wicking. Now you can wick. Let me get a poker. You can wick on here through your coil, obviously you go through your coil, but then you can go in all of this space, look at all of this space all around here, you can wick it all the way around here, and that is why it wicks so so well, it wicks so fast because you've got so much cotton going down in there, all getting nice and juiced up, and this thing, you cannot dry hit this, no matter how hard you go at this, for how long, you can't dry hit it, because it is wicking like an absolute champ. Uh, while we've got the tap cap off, you can also see the airflow. It goes in here, and it comes out of here, straight up through the coil uh, for a very tasty vape. I will say, however, for whatever reason, there must be quite a lot of air friction going on here because it is a noisy, it is a noisy old uh, tank when you're dragging on it. So that's that's one slight con, one slight negative. Two O-rings here. The top cap goes on perfectly. Uh, the whole thing is 
very well made indeed, very, very well made indeed. Uh, no build quality issues to report. Um, obviously, you, you wick that up, you stick this down here, and uh, you are good to go. And that is the RDTA of the Merlin variety from Orgvape. Let's go back up top. Okay, guys, that was the Merlin down low. Uh, I don't want to keep you, so I'll just give you the pros and cons hard and fast. Um, cons. Okay, this top, this Delrin top cap bit, um, it's non, it's non, it's non-optional. You know, you can't put your own drip tips on here. Um, it is what it is. Uh, so you, you have to like it or lump it. You know, um, and it's a very strange shape. It's quite bulbous. It's quite fat um, up here. Uh, it's a strange one that. Uh, I, I, I think it's a shame. I think it's a shame that, uh, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of the drip tip element of this. Um, in terms of the colour, I don't have anything that matches this rose gold uh, right now. I know there are some mods that do match it, but I don't have any of them. Uh, so it's the stainless steel one would be more in keeping with uh, me and uh, how I how I would do it. Um, other negatives, looks are going to be subjective, that's uh, that's on you. Uh, another negative, I'm going to have to start mentioning these as negatives now as well. Obviously, it's not really TPD compliant in any way. Um, it just ain't. Um, so there's that as well. There is a much greater list of positives, however, for this. The vape quality is tremendous. Oh, sorry, I should go back and just quickly say another negative, which you are going to see right now. Um, the vape quality is tremendous, but it does have one negative, and that is the sound of this, the noise of this. It's quite a noisy uh, tank. It's a lovely vape, but it's quite noisy. There's quite a lot of friction going on in there. It tends to be the case with a lot of RDTAs. Uh, I think it's because the air's got to go in there, and it's got to go up there, rattle its way through. Um, the tank, you know, to get to the top. So I don't know. For whatever reason, it's quite noisy. Uh, that's definitely, definitely a potential negative for some people. Uh, so I mentioned that. But like I say, the vape quality is tremendous. Uh, absolute doddle to build on. Absolute doddle to build on. Absolute doddle to wick. This thing wicks brilliantly. Uh, it's such it's such a clever idea to do the wicks all the way around the posts rather than just having two little holes like the first set of RDTAs had. That that's brilliant. So it it's so easy to build, it's so easy to wick. You can put whatever coils you want in here, they will fit no problem. Flavour is excellent, truly, truly, truly excellent. Um yeah, so easy to wick, great vape, great taste, uh, great flavour. Uh, adjustable airflow is good, all that stuff is good, and another big positive, uh, all these RDTAs seem to have their own way of uh, wick, of uh, fit refilling them. This one is as good as any I've seen. Uh, you literally just shove whatever you want down the middle of that deck and uh, it just goes straight in. Um, yeah, it's clever, it's clever this. It has pushed it forward in my opinion. It is a very good RDTA. Um, it vapes great and it's very clever, very very clever indeed. Um, definitely worth a look. Uh, another excellent product from Org Vape. Um, I've been Ben Vic, and I will see you again really soon. Got loads and loads and loads to review, so see you soon.